G'day guys and welcome back to Aussie Gamer. Now, as you can see here, we are checking out the new Xbox One dashboard. So it, uh, from what I can tell, is pretty damn fast uh, and looks very, very cool. So we'll talk about some of the features in today's video. And first up, let's start with the left hand of the uh, the left hand side of the screen there, and uh, that'll bring up a couple of these really cool little icons here. So first up, you've got your friends that are accessible. So we can see there AC Bongos, uh, E, and probably uh, a couple of other names that uh, I'm sure you will all recognise. Then you can jump down to start a party to uh, chat online. So that's really accessible and very very quick now, which is awesome. Uh, you can jump in and have a look at your messages. So as you can see here, I've got one from the Xbox Live, uh, Xbox One's preview program. Um, now these are really accessible. You can jump in there and have a look at them at any time. Uh, also notifications are in a pretty handy spot. So this just tells me that uh, we've got the Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain online multiplayer. So that's now a feature that's available for that game. And if you haven't checked that game out, I have to say it's pretty damn awesome. I've not yet checked out the multiplayer online, but I can't wait. I think it'll be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and it also says that uh, my purchase of Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor, the game of the year edition, is also ready to go. So I think I picked that up for about 20 Aussie bucks or something like that. So a great little deal there. Now, jumping into settings. So this was criticized, I think, a lot by, uh, by I guess, publications like GameSpot, who said, you know, it was impossible to find settings. Uh, which wasn't true, but the guys at Microsoft have made the settings so much more accessible now. So it's uh, just on the left, like I said, and you can jump in, you can go and have a look at all settings. You can do the uh, the, the on or off functionality for your Kinect mic. Now, I don't really use the Kinect microphone very often. I don't think I, I use it at all, really. Um, I use it for a hell of a lot of other things, but uh, if you want to turn it off and on, it's just a nice, quick, easy little setting there. Uh, and you also have the ability to turn your console off and uh, and restart the console right from here. So that's another little handy feature. And then you jump down here to the Snap Center. And uh, this is just, a, I guess, a, a little handy, quick little guide or, or get to to, um, to have an accessibility for all of your apps. So as you can see, there's a crap ton of apps here that you can just jump in and out of very, very quickly. So it's really well organized by... Microsoft uh, and it just looks sen sensational and works really fast. So having a look at the main screen itself, you can see this is the, the the last app or game that we've had open. So as you can see, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Uh, it sounds like an ad today for that game, but uh, that's the game I'm playing at the moment. You can also check out the Hash Windows 10 devices, Forza Motorsport 6. So these, I guess, are ads to an extent where I guess they're advertising, you know, games with gold, get your free games, uh, the, the latest Forza Motorsport 6, and of course the Windows 10 showcase event, which was just on early this morning here in Australia. I think it was about 3 a.m., something crazy. Now going down from that, you can see here that the last, uh, I guess, five or six things that I've checked out were the NFL app. So ever since uh, Jared Hayne here from Australia has gone and joined the San Francisco 49ers, I've jumped on the 49ers bandwagon and have uh, tried to follow along very closely. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5. So as Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain was updating last night, I thought I'd go and check out Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, uh, which is not a little bad. It's not a bad game. I think uh, it's definitely... Uh, a game that uh, I'm glad I didn't go and buy. I'm glad I got free with Games with Gold. Shadow of Mordor, as I mentioned earlier, Upload Studio, and then The Phantom Pain. Now, at the very, very bottom of the screen, you'll see all of your games and, uh, and apps that um, you can basically pin here. So you can see these are, are all of my games. I wish I had time to play them. Sunset Overdrive, I will get to you at some point, I promise. But uh, all the games are here, and they're all pinned now, I think there is a pin limit, because I do know that I've pinned more games than uh, than just these. So, let's just do a quick count. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 there. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, look, there's, there's only 29 games you can pin at this point. Um, oh, here you go. Where are the rest? So I assume that they're probably hidden in the back end. So you go, you've reached the most pins we can show here. So um, you can only, I guess, have 
29 of your most uh, favorite games or apps pinned at any one point in time. And I guess that's plenty for most people as well. Now to access the rest of your games and apps, you just click this button and it'll take you to um, the rest of those. But to scroll to the top is very easy. You just hit the left trigger, takes you straight up the top. So that's a pretty handy little feature. Jumping over to the community tab. So this section I think needs a little bit of work if I'm being honest. I do think these tiles are slightly too big, uh, unnecessarily too big. Uh, and that just goes through, you know, what have your, your mates been achieving um, and all that sort of stuff. So look, it's it's a nice little feature. Uh, I guess it showcases it from a, an artistic point of view, but I think it still needs a little bit of work. Now what's interesting here too, is that uh, on some of these things, there's no sort of visibility. So like that one there, for example, I don't know who's achieved that, what gamer score they got or, or anything. So that, that kind of means nothing to me other than the fact that it's a nice picture. So a little bit of work still needs to be done on that one, in my opinion. Uh, jumping over to the one guide. So this is all about your, your TV uh, and interactivity. Um, and you can do, you can see a couple of things here. So live TV setup, movies from all apps, TV shows, app channels, my movies and TV. And then uh, it just goes through a couple of those, those TV apps, which, um, you know, I guess highlights the opportunity for you to go and have a look at something or, uh, or watch something. So that's a pretty cool little function. I'm, uh, I'm not, a, I guess, I'm not a massive TV movie um, guy. So look, I don't tend to to use this a hell of a lot. But uh, I guess if you're into your TV, then uh, that's an opportunity for you to do so. And then finally, the store. So the store has had a little bit of an update as well. Uh, obviously, the big one coming up, Halo Five Guardians, and then uh, a couple of, I guess, pending games which are which are topical at the moment: Star Wars Battlefront, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, that sort of thing. New releases. So this highlights, I think, games which are, which are just out. So that's really cool to see. Top rated, and yes, you'd have to say that you know they've got that pretty much right. Those games are definitely top rated, no question. And then you can obviously delve into things a little bit more from there. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. Browse all games, search all games. Uh, and then you can do that via things like apps, um, just looking specifically at apps and what's available. So that's pretty damn cool. Movies and TV again. So, you know, just focusing in on, uh, on some of the new release stuff and then music. So there you go. Look, that's um, a pretty cool... Easy to, to get around, easy to navigate, very fast, I have to say. It's definitely the uh, the fastest dashboard on a console to date. And uh, they've done a really, really good job. I don't think it's quite 100% there. It still is uh, a beta, essentially, a preview version of what, uh, what should be something that will release to everybody towards the end of this year. So there you go, guys. Look, that's a first look at the Xbox One's dashboard so obviously it's only a preview as i mentioned but it's pretty damn cool already pretty fast very fantastic and i have to say well done microsoft so there you go guys look if you've liked today's video please remember to hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and as always guys get involved in the conversation via the comment section down below and i will see you all in the next video thanks guys